everyone, it's Andrea. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope everyone had a wonderful and blessed holiday. I had an awesome time away, but as soon as I stepped foot back into my home, it was run, 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 time to do these long closings and uh, make some more money. So here I am back on the ground. Today, I wanted to share with you um, two new tips that I've picked up along the way. I can't say that I take credit for both of them, but uh, here we go. So I am a people pleaser. I'm a people pleaser. And I'm sure that there are quite a few people who are watching who are as well. And if you know, like I know, we are exhausted. We are exhausted with trying to please everybody. Trying to please everybody is impossible. It truly is, but we still try. So, and the training that I had, and this one that I'm speaking of is Long Signing System. It was, um, we were taught that it was not a requirement to return all the documents back in the original order that we received them. And uh, this came from several escrow officers, loan officers, um, title, that they said it was not a requirement. What was a requirement is that you keep all the document, the packs of documents together. So let me explain. Um, I heard about a notary who would only present the signature pages of all of the documents. So she would come to your home, she, he, I don't know. I don't know this notary. Um, but she would come to your home and she has already pulled out all the signature pages and all she's doing is presenting that page, sign and date here, and that's it. And so when she would return the pack, the entire stack, the top part would be all of the signature pages and the bottom part would be all of the pages that go along with those signature pages. If you're watching this channel, we're not doing that. We are far better than that. No offense to that notary who's doing that, but we know the documents. We know how to explain the documents. If we don't, we know how to get the answers. We're calling the signing service. We're call, like we're calling people to make sure that when we get to the borrower's home, we know what we're doing. So we're not just presenting the signature pages. And we're not sending the documents that out of order that the top part are just the signature pages and the bottom part is everything else. No, we're not doing that. I can't imagine what, like the, the person who receives this through the signing service, through title, whomever, what they were thinking when they got the pack that out of order. So... What this um, loan officer was saying was that, for example, when we have, let me pull this out, when we have the deed of trust, there are, um, what, about 18 pages. I had one that was in New York earlier today, and that was 20 pages. They want all 20 pages together. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the middle of the stack, like we received it in. Um, but they want those 20 pages together. They don't want to just see the signature pages here and then the rest of the pages here. That is a pain to put back together. So that's what that loan officer or escrow officer was saying, that it doesn't matter the order, but the, the pages that go together, that needs to be in the same order. So that I completely get. But there are a few companies that I work for that in their notary instructions state they want the documents in the uh, order in which we receive them. All right, fine, fine, fine. And if you've watched me long enough, you know that there are several documents that I take out of order um, and I put to the very beginning of the packet. And that's because it makes the whole closing go a whole lot smoother. For example, um, so the first six documents I take out are the closing disclosure, the settlement statement, the note, the right to cancel, 
the deed of trust and the first payment letter. And I take these documents and put them to the very top because that is the most important documents that the borrowers want to see. They want to see their interest rate. They want to see how much money they're getting back. They want to see what their monthly payments are going to be. So I want to show them these documents first. Um, therefore, after that, everything is easy peasy. Oh, easy, smooth sailing. Um, so I put those six documents at the very beginning. Now, there are a few documents that I put towards the end. Um, for example, there's the, the Patriot Act form. I fill that out at the very end. Um, what else do I, there's a document, there's often a document in there that talks about wiring, um, how to wire the doc, excuse me, wire the monies to the borrower and it wants their bank account information, oftentimes avoid a check. I deal with that document at the very end because oftentimes the borrower does not have that check in front of them. Um, that the voided check, oftentimes they don't have the bank information in front of them. So that means they have to leave the table and go find stuff. And so I don't want to be waiting on them. When they're looking for the bank information, I'm double checking the document. So I'm doing the Patriot Act form. Or I'm like all of my time, my time is precious. It's precious. So I like to put those documents at the very end. Um, there's another document that I often put at the end. That is the, there's a document in some packets. It's, it almost looks like an application. It's asking them for their last residence for the last 10 years. It's asking them for um, their employment for the last 10 years. It's asking them a lot of information. Um, and so I typically put that document at the very end. So while they're filling out those two pages, I'm still working. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still um, going through the packet to make sure I didn't miss anything. Like I'm cleaning stuff up to make sure that things are, are good. So be, now I want to I wanna try to please everybody i want to try to make it so that it's easier for the next person who's receiving this 150 page packet and if putting it back in the order that i received it makes it easier for the next person then that's what i want to do so that people pleasing thing i don't know if it's a curse or what but whatever um so that's what i want to do so i originally wanted to like get carved stock paper and print like a pretty color, something bright, so that when I put it in here as a placeholder, um, it would stick out to me. But I didn't have any carved stock at home. I didn't have any carved stock. And I said, I am not going out to buy not one more thing. I just wasn't, just wasn't. What I found were And you know what it is? I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm going to tell you what I did. All it is, is a file folder. Something simple. I had, I don't remember why. Maybe, I probably purchased it, purchased this box of file folders when I thought I was going to be a, um, a well-organized parent. Um, <laughs> with three kids. I feel like it's impossible to be organized. So, um, I had these and what I did was, I cut them right down the middle. I had some labels. I put it here on the bright side so that it was easy to see. I picked some colors that made me happy. My favorite colors are green and blue. And I created dividers. That's what I did, that's what I did. I'm, look. I don't want to buy not one more thing, not one more thing, even though it would have been a tax write-off, but still, you get my point. So, as I'm going through this 150-page packet, and I'm pulling out those important documents, and I'm putting them up at the front, and I'm putting them at the back, I am taking my dividers here, and I'm putting them in the spot that I took the document out of. So, for example, if... 
this is where my deed of trust is, then I will pull, I will pull out the deed of trust. I will put the divider there, put the deed of trust at the top of the packet, and move on to the next document. Next document might be the right to cancel. Next document might be the closing disclosure. And I just keep right on going. And then I'll have a packet that looks like this. And I have my dividers here that tells me what, what document goes right in front. And so I will do just that. I'll go through these documents, show the document, the very the six important documents that we talked about. I'll show that first and I'll keep right on going. Go all the way to the end. Then when I am sitting at the table and I've completed the closing, I'm just double checking the documents. That's when I will take those six documents, put them right back where they came from and pull out the divider. Therefore, the dividers are mine to keep and now the documents are back in their rightful place. And that's what, that's what I did, that's what I did. And so the titles that I chose, that I ended up, that I end up moving are, like I said, the right to cancel, the deed of trust, the note, the closing disclosure, settlement statement, First payment letter, I put the Patriot Act. I have one for that because I moved that as well to the back. There's a, another document that's like the ID verification. It's very similar to the Patriot Act, but oftentimes I have both the identification verification and the Patriot Act, so I wanted to make sure I had that. I had one for wiring information. And then I have one for um, the application document that I was speaking of. And then I just have a few extra for if ever I find I need another one. And that's my dividers. And so now I can put documents back in their rightful order. And, it, and the last time, I have another video that shows you this, but I was using sticky notes. And look, I... We go, we're going to do better. We're going to do better. Now we have these beautiful little dividers here. Um, but like I said, you can use car stuff. You can use, keep using the sticky notes. Whatever makes you happy um, and keeps you organized. The other thing is, um, or rather the other tip is that sometimes we are dealing with several different closings. Let's say you have a 12 o'clock and you have a 2 o'clock and you have six o'clock, I don't know, you're busy that day. And you're dealing with several different packets. It is very easy to mix those packets up. And Lord knows, we do not want to mix the packets up, but it happens, it happens. And so there have been times where notaries have sent packets to the wrong location. For example, your 12 o'clock signing you can easily mix up and send it, mix up the shipping labels and send it to your two o'clock closing or, or what have you. So it's easy to do that. We think that, oh, that doesn't make sense. How did that notary do it? There have been plenty of notaries that have done this mistake and it is very easy to do. So one thing that I am gonna start doing, and this one is the one that I did not create, I saw it in one of the groups and I was like, that is a beautiful idea because it is very easy to mix these documents up. That once we print the documents on that shipping label, you're going to move that shipping label to the very first page if it's not already. Oftentimes it's the first page. You're going to move that shipping label to the very first page and you're going to write on the back of it. No one cares about this shipping label as far as what's on the back of it, what you wrote, nothing. The only thing they care about is all of this information here. So you're going to write on the back of it the name of the borrower, the last name. And so when you are ready to ship these documents, before you seal them up and, and, send, and drop them off to FedEx or UPS, you're going to look at this shipping label, you're going to look at the back of it, and make sure you're sending it to the right place. So for example, if this is the Smith closing, and I, I look back at these documents and I'm like, wait a minute, this is the Jones closing that was at two o'clock. Then I know that I have fouled up somewhere and I can fix it. As long as I still have the documents, I can fix it. 
But if I put the shipping label to uh, to the Jones and it's, it does, it's not supposed to go to the Jones closing, signing service, whatever it is, then um, I done fouled up and I know I'm going to feel horrible. I'm going to be I'm going to feel absolutely horrible if I make that mistake. Okay. So that's what I have for, for you today. Hopefully this helps. Um, please like and subscribe my videos. I will talk to you all later. Bye.